Okay, so now you have to find six rational numbers between say 2 by 7 and 4 by 9. This is the question. As we said earlier, as we have understood from our conversation all this time, that between two rational numbers, there can be infinite rational numbers. Selecting six out of them is purely our choice and the method we use. Okay. So, as the standard method, first we will see that the denominators are not same. So, we will make them same to start with. So, find LCM. This comes to 63. This is 9 twos are 18 and then 7 fours are 28. So, the numbers are 18 by 63 and 28 by 63. Between them already 19 is there, 20 is there, 21 is there, 22 up to 27. All those things lie here that is more than 6 natural uh, real uh, rational numbers. Your choice you can say say 18 by 63. So, you have 19 by 63, you have 20 by 63, 21 by 63, then 22 by 63, 23 by 63, 24, then 25, obviously 26 by 63 and say 27 by 63 between uh, 28 is already there of course. So, 28 by 63. So, between this and this you already have a lot of numbers. You have to choose only 6. So, any 6 of your choice you can take. You can make a list of it and then say these are all the line. You can take any 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 or your friend may take other 6. That is okay. Okay. So, with this method we have got this. Suppose instead of 6 you were to ask 60 numbers or say not 60, let us make it 20. Suppose I want 20 numbers. With this method, I got only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I got only 9 numbers. So, where will I go for the rest of the 11 numbers? So, here itself 28 by 63 and 28 by 63, 18 by 63 and 28 by 63. I can use the same format. I have to find 20 numbers. I add 1 to that and make it 21. So, you have 18 by 63 and you have 28 by 63. Here also 21, here also 21. Here also 21 and here also 21. Multiply. Of course, multiply correctly. Get the fractions. Denominator again is going to be same. You have lot of numbers in between the numerators. Choose any 20 of your choice and do it. So, that is another method. So, since we had here only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and we needed 6, it was okay. But you want more than 6, use this method. You In any case, any two fraction you must first see that the denominators are same. So for that, you have to find LCM. Once you get the equivalent fraction, then it is your choice to play with it. You can do whatever you feel like. You multiply by 10, you multiply by 100, you multiply by 1000. Nobody is going to stop you. Of course, do not go to big numbers. No need to go to that level when you can do something as easily as this, you know, multiplying with the extra numbers. So, for 6, we directly got it. If we needed 21, it has to be since there are not 21 numbers obvious to us. We are not able to see that. It does lie here. We are not able to see. So, multiply by 21. Now, you will have some bigger fractions, but that is okay. Between them, you find, you know, 20 numbers. That is also the answer for this question. Important thing is to find the LCM if the denominators are not same. Otherwise, it is just a direct sum. You can directly find the answer. So, answers cannot be same for everyone. As long as your answer is correct, your method is correct, your multiplications are correct, it is enough.